So flip over to the back. Once again, I would want to write both of these in their completely factored form. I would look at the top and say there's a common factor of y in y squared and negative 5y. So I could factor a y out of the numerator. It would be y times y minus 5. In the denominator, in order to factor this trinomial into two binomials, I would look for two numbers that add to negative 2 and that multiply to negative 15. And of course those numbers are negative 5 and positive 3. So since they're negative 5 and positive 3, this uh, denominator will factor into y minus 5 and y plus 3. And then the common y minus 5s will divide out. And we're left with just y over y plus 3. So this is what that simplifies to. The restrictions, again, I would look at the two factors, one that's still in the denominator and the one that was divided out. And so it's 5 subtract 5 that would make that factor 0. So 5 is one restriction. The other is negative 3 plus 3 would make that have a value of 0. So negative 3 is the other value that this function is not defined for. Last example, now notice in E that the entire numerator and the entire denominator both divide evenly by 2. So we could just divide 2 out of all of this and then write this in a simpler form to start with. So dividing everything by 2, it simplifies to 4x squared plus 4x plus 1 over 6x squared minus x minus 2. Now, I need to factor this so I can divide out the common factors. And I would, note, I would try to notice here that this is a perfect square and so is the 1. And so it looks like this numerator will factor into a perfect square trinomial. In fact, it should be 2x plus 1 squared. Remember how you check that? If I square the 2x, you get 4x squared. If I square the 1, I get the 1 in, in the end. And then 1 times 2x is 2x, doubled makes 4x. That's that shortcut for squaring. So that's a way we could factor 4x squared plus 4x plus 1. If you don't see that, you could still factor that numerator the same way we're going to factor the denominator. You could look for two numbers to add to 4 and multiply to 4, 2 and 2, and you could do the same procedures we're going to use in the denominator. Now in order to factor 6x squared minus x minus 2, I'm going to look for two numbers that add to negative 1. This is not a perfect square trinomial. And multiply to the product of 6 and negative 2, which of course is negative 12. And the two numbers that have that characteristic are negative 4 and positive 3. They add to negative 1, and they multiply to negative 12. And so remember what we do with those two is we break that middle term down into two terms that have these coefficients. So we write our 6x squared down, and instead of writing negative x, we write minus 4x plus 3x, and then the minus 2 in the end. And remember, we factor by grouping. I want to factor out of here the common factor and the same on the end here. So take a moment to copy that down. And so the, the common factor in 6x squared minus 4x is 2x. So we factor a 2x out of 6x squared, we get 3x. And factor a 2x out of the negative 4x, we get minus 2. And there's no common factor in the last two terms, so we just put a set of brackets around a 3x minus 2. Remember, these two must be the same, otherwise you've made an error. So, common factoring out of the denominator, a 3x minus 2. The other factor would be 2x plus, remember there's a 1 here, 2x plus 1. Now, there's a 2x plus 1 squared in the numerator, and one of them in the denominator. So this 2x plus 1 in the denominator will divide out with one of them. Instead of crossing that out, what I often do is just, is just cross out the exponent, which means there's an exponent of 1 there. There's just one of the 2x plus 1s left. And so the simplified version of this is just 2x plus 1 over 3x minus 2. So that is this original expression simplified. Now the restrictions. We look at any factors that were ever in the denominator. And there are two of them. There's 3x minus 2 and 2x plus 1. So first of all, the 2x plus 1, it is not allowed to equal 0. So if we re rearrange to solve for x, if we subtract 1 from both sides, we'll get 2x cannot equal negative 1. And then dividing both sides by 2, we get x cannot equal negative 1 half. From the 3x minus 2 factor, 3x minus 2 is not allowed to equal 0. 
And so adding 2 to both sides, we get 3x cannot equal 2. And then dividing by 3, x cannot equal 2 thirds. So those are the two restrictions. Two different binomial factors were in the denominator, so there should be two different restrictions. And that's the end of the lesson.